I have to say thank you for reminding me on this video. Um, my address is visible on here, was mentioned by a few of my subscribers and viewers. So I'll just get all these name texts uh, logged in and then I'm gonna delete this video and re upload it again. There's a few modifications and there was a little bit of music at the end which I'm gonna get rid of as well as the copyright police uh, picked that up as well. But thanks for that, it's good the internet moderates itself and uh, yeah, there we go. Special thank you Dr. Cassette, I really appreciate it. Cheers. Great comments and appreciate your feedback, thank you Peter. LED filament lamps having a fit. Quite new lamp. I'm gonna look at the power supply. Can't be much power supply in these units and considering it's all crammed into the E27 bays. So yeah, I'm gonna take it apart, have a look inside. I wonder what they cram into this uh, E27 fitting more or less, because can't be much in there. There must be a little capacitor and maybe a rectifier or something. So we're gonna Carefully open this device up and see what we find. Plastic or glass, paste to wear some of these glasses just in case. And we're going to see if we're going to crack this carefully and have a look inside, see what we find. Just massaging it off. There we go, got the bulb. Still on camera. Oh yeah, it's on there. I massaged it only a little bit and the bulb thing comes off. Relatively easy. I need to unsolder it now and then... Uh... Got it half open here. There is bug all in there. This looks like a little board with the blob, the magic blob. And that goes into the filaments and yeah, that hole. Well, I got it apart. This is the E27 fitting. And then we got the bulb, and all the 240 volts goes into these, these two terminals here. A little blob, so work out your electrical isolation. I know it's in the bulb, but there's not much in it, so I'm see if I can open it up and have a look what's actually in the device itself. I'll see if I can open it up without cutting myself. Looks like a little uh, power supply of some, some sort. Uh, cut the other side open too, I suppose. See if we get a little box in there. I need it there, hopefully. I find a lot of these lamps, the things are designed but they're overdriven too hard. Either the LEDs get overdriven or the series resistors or something. So this is marked AC, it's AC side. There's a 100 ohm resistor here that goes to the other side, which is a bridge rectifier. Stay that lamp. Bridge rectifier in, so there's a 100 ohm resistor. That particular thing is on the output of an exotic IC, which is very hard to read the numbers of. Uh, I think I see 15, 1, 5, and 0, 0. I'll see if I get a uh, better reading. So I'm just going to energize it again, see if it still works. It's on the ballasted circuit, there's a lamp in series. Energize device. Oh yeah, it works. I'll turn the other lamp off, see how long it's going for. I want to do a voltage measurement too on this device. See how long 
was going for for a while. It's pretty bright. It takes about 20 seconds and then it starts pulsing. But it's a ridiculously small chip, considering. Oh yeah, there we go, it's just flickering. The actual LED filament's okay, it's just a driver circuit. Just the driver circuit, it's giving grief. Okay, the Energize device and plug safety first. Have always the plug removed, always the plug removed before touching. Okay, we're going to energize and see what happens. Oh, meter went off the scale. Wow. The DC reading is 200 volts across these flipping LED strings. That's quite a lot. Visible. 200 volts DC. The way I connected it up, the two blue ones is the AC 240 volts and the yellow ones are going to the multimeter. A little better way, 201 volts. That's quite significant. Okay, current measurement. Thirty six milliampere. A quick calculation to make this lamp resistive. Uh, I have to get rid of forty volts. Um, that's here, forty volts. Give me about twelve hundred ohms. U items are power rating of the resistor should be 1.5 watts, so a 2 watt resistor should suffice, and then I can probably reuse the module. Well, a quick smoke test, uh, I've got a lamp here, 2K2, 5 watt resistor, a bit overrated, I want to reduce the current a bit and then I put it in and we'll see what happens. Energized device. Yeah, it works. Now I'm also going to do current measurements, so I'm going to de-energize briefly. Well, the current is about 12 milliampere. lamp is working. Uh, I may change the resistor to 1.5k. Get the current up a bit and then do a duration check, see how that's going to perform. Okay, 1k5 brings it up to 15 almost 16 milliampere, so I'll let this sit for a wee while just see how satisfying it is. I'm going to turn the lights off. Yeah, it's still pretty bright, considering. And I'm working on a plan how I'm going to assemble the device. Good thing is of salvaging uh, various uh, CFL bulbs, bases. I'm going to put it in a bayonet. I'm going to do the duration test first, put it all in there, pot it all up, and at least have a useful lamp again. I've got a couple more of these LED lamps have failed, so can we use them again? Good recycling, perfect, and it's still rock solid at 16 milliampere. So, I have uh, cut out a little circle here and insert. Um, I didn't have this right size uh, hole saw, but that's going to go on here. The resistor will go inside the device here. And then the bulb goes in there, and then I've got a uh, modified the E27 straight away to a bayonet B22, so that's quite good. That makes progress, so I'll get this stuff sorted. Well, I got a 1.5k resistor in here, you know, a matter of uh, soldering the other two uh, wires down to this uh, little bridge rectifier here, and put it all together, and uh, yeah, we got a working lamp again. Okay, got the lamp sealed in. Um, I'll just have a quick look here. Got this all sealed up and glued in this hot uh, epoxy. Ready for the lamp test. And hopefully, we've got a few more years out of this device. 
Okay, the smoke test, lamp test, energized device, and it works like a charm. That's very good. I'll fix that door, it's about 17 milliamps. Uh, combo quite nice, so I'm happy with the results. So I've got a couple more of these lead lamps to uh, modify. That one got a bit of a bit different fitting at the base, but they all have the same issue. And they come out boxes like this. Energy lamps, bought them on eBay, about six, seven bucks. I bought them about four or five years ago, and they haven't done many hours. But yeah, 220 volts. I found it always very interesting. You get these lamps, they sell, and there's no labeling on the lamp itself. There should be, technically, there should be a voltage in a uh, current rating on the device or wattage. So it's all as these grey, yeah, untraceable uh, items. So these bulbs need to be converted as well. They have similar problems. Still looking at this little driver circuit board. It's less than half an inch and it has 240 volts applied to it. That's uh, yeah, not ideal. Quick test on this one, see if it works. No one home here. No response, no, that's spoofed completely. And we'll check the other one quickly. I didn't have much uh, effort to get this one apart. This is the other one that got a bit different design. But of course it died as well, so I'm gonna cut this clear. That This looks like it's got a switch mode oscillator in here or something. So these two wires up here, there we go. This device got a capacitor and it got a little circuit board with some junk on it. Which is got a transformer and some other tiny components, but I'm gonna delete that and um, also put a series dropper in there, keep it simple. Because these things don't fail, they just crap. This bulb I do a little bit different, I just solder the positive and negative on there, so it's about 200 volts DC and I'll uh, put a rectifier on the series uh, resistor in the base so yeah just experimenting with different devices okay lamp number two test uh they got a 1k resistor in there so a bit more current probably at 20 milliampere um i'll see how that's going to perform not a bad looking result here's uh, the other lamp and i think i forgot to mention so i'm going to re-upload this video uh, 240 volts, 22 milliampere. Always put a voltage rating and a current rating or wattage. So yeah, recycled to the max. Oh, this is lamp number two, working quite nicely. So I quickly bought this together, 3K3, 27K, bridge rectifier. This bulb, I forgot to mark it, I just took the control board off. Yeah, just this little control board, which has a positive and a negative, but uh, I didn't mark it on the lamp. So I'm just going to control this, or uh, hook this bulb up here to this circuit and just switch it on. See, hopefully the polarity is right, if not, yeah, it's no loss really. I'm just going to try it out. Just quick test, I'll swap the two wires over. Uh, turn the lights back off again, see if it makes any difference. The start from the LED lamp was 16689.30. So uh, it has done seven hours satisfactory. Okay, here we got the lamp in service. This has been doing about eight hours already, so it looks really good. Give an interesting pattern on the ceiling. Not bad at all. <laughs> 